Hi, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your iPad using iTunes. Now you may need to do this uh, if you're selling the iPad, you want to make sure it's data free, or you may just want to factory reset it to get some memory back. If you're running out of memory on your iPad, this is a good thing to do. So, okay, we'll click on uh, iTunes, and then we see we're going to restore the iPad. Now, if you look here, latest backups, I've done a full manual backup. Uh, there's a link in the description to show you how to do that and it's also backed up to my iCloud so now I'm going to press restore the iPad now the first thing it tells me is I need to switch off find my phone on my iPad so I just open up my iPad as if by magic it appears and we go to settings tap on the name and you'll see your device is there so We'll click on that device and then we need to find my iPad and switch it off. It's going to ask you for your iTunes uh, username and password but once that's done it will start installing the latest version of iPad and wiping your iPad. Now as I said there are countless reasons to do this but if you look at the memory at the bottom there I'll we'll just go back in the video you'll see there's only three gig left. Hopefully by the time we have reinstalled everything there will be a lot more memory. Okay, as that's going through now, uh, your iPad's been restored. It won't be that quick. I pause the video. All right, it does take a few minutes. Okay, so as that's now processing through, you'll see that uh, it's going to install, and we're about to see a brand new iPad. Now there'll be a couple of links in the description, a couple of links at the end of this video. One, how to restore from a backup, how to backup in the first place, how to reset uh, your iPad without using iTunes, how to backup without using iTunes. So this is a really good time to subscribe to the channel because there's countless iPad videos. As we can see, we've got a brand new iPad. And in the next video that's going to come up shortly, you will see how to restore from your backup if we've, uh, if we've upgraded your iPad. But as you can see, I'm switching back to my iPad now and this is the screen, it's a brand new startup screen for iPad. As I said, there's countless videos going up today, so do subscribe to the channel, check out the channel, check out the playlist for iPad, um, there's gonna be plenty of videos there, so do subscribe to the channel, and I hope this is useful for you, and if so, do like it, do subscribe, and do share. Thanks very much, bye bye. You can actually watch the video, the links are in the description, of how to restore from a backup but you see I've restored my backup I've now got 5.4 gig so I've gained 2 gig of memory by doing this process it took about 10 minutes but it's got me 2 gig of memory uh, I think it's well worth doing it cleans your iPad up but of course you also want to do this process if you're selling your iPad